back again. Hello. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been a rough couple years. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I just got divorced. Uh, I got the trailer, but I got all the bills. Went without electricity for a couple months, and still been six months going without running water. I'm caught up on the electricity, but uh, the water's still off, and I owe a lot of money. I'm about to get evicted from the trailer park, so uh, make a GoFundMe. Check me out on GoFundMe, Brian McWilliams. Check out my Facebook, Brian McWilliams in Red Wing, Minnesota. Well, enough about my sad story. This is a metal detecting video. I'm out at a property. The owner tells me it was built in the 1800s, anywhere from 1870s to 1890s probably. Pretty nice out here, very nice. Some cows over there. So, yep. Go find something good. See you on the first hole. Hello. I haven't found anything good yet. Been here five, six minutes and dug five pole tabs. I think I found another one. Let's find out. On the next one. Or maybe not. <laughs> There's the storm rolling in. I don't think I'll be here much longer. So this will be a short hunt at this place, but I'll try and find some other better places to do more on this video post. See you later. Hello. I'm at a different place today. I'm at a church that was built in 1908. And I, I almost gave up. Most of the, all the new sidewalk and the parkway's all been torn up. This little patch here is the only thing and I just found something awesome. <laughs> Coin spill. I got a nickel signal. And first, popped out a wheat penny. I haven't looked at the date yet, but then this popped out. I'm not even sure what it is yet. Oh, was that a V nickel? V nickel. I see the V there. I'm shaking. It's been a while since I found a coin that old. It's got a date. It's in good shape. I think it's 18, 1891. Sorry, this camera's probably not going to focus. Oh. Awesome. I'll come back if I find any more. Sweet. See you next one. Hello. I got another good signal right next to that one. That was the nickel and wheat penny. Let's see what it is. And it's another wheat. Sweet! I'll give you the dates and close ups of all these in the wrap up. I can find a better camera. See you on the next one! Hello! I'm at a new spot. I'm at an empty lot on the edge of this beautiful view. That's the Mississippi River down there. Awesome. What a beautiful day. Found something old. Old shotgun. Nitro. Woo. Go find something else. Yeah. 
Hello. Next day, September 27th. I'm back in the 1860s town. And that place over there that I did yesterday, uh, I was only there like an hour and uh, ran out of batteries. So uh, I came back and apparently they changed their mind. So I'm at the neighbor's house and he tells me that this place the original house was built in the 1870s. This is the yard here. I'm not going to show the house. So I got this nice, pretty yard here to detect, and the house is 1870s. So hopefully there's something there from the period. Let's go find it. See it. Hello. Haven't found anything old yet. Bunch of pull tabs, a modern penny. This signal, oh boy. Nice bazinga, or I got a big silver. Big one, whatever it is. Probably not gonna make the video. That was a long live dig for that. Oh, see you later. Oh crap. I wasn't recording. I just found a wheat penny. First old thing of the day. Yay! There's old stuff here. Let's go find more. Hello. Man, I've been digging some bazingas. In the high 80s, low 90s. Thought they were gonna be some good stuff, and it was not. I just dug this thing at like eight, ten inches deep. It was like low 90s. I thought it was gonna be, you know, silver. But this. Probably modern quarter. <laughs> 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 
Don't be a bazinga. I can't tell if the edge is beaded. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I don't think it's beaded. <laughs> what is that, a token? Oh no, it's got some weight. What is it? Oh, dude! I think it's silver. I think it's a silver half. Oh yeah, it's just really worn. I can see the beaded edge. It's a silver half! It's a silver half! Oh my goodness! Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a walker. Wow, that's a worn out walker. Oh, snap. 1918. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is definitely my oldest walker. Sweet. I guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. Uh, let's go find some more. See you there. Hello. Oh boy. Yep, there's some stuff here. This yard is so weird though. I just dug uh, 70s Roosevelt at like 6 inches. And over there, it's like Walker at 3 inches. This yard is crazy. I didn't find anything really good here. I just had to film it because it's classic. <laughs> I got a spoon! Yeah, yo! Hello, still here. I just found something interesting. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. Feels like a coin. Looks like a coin. Doesn't look American. Ah, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Sixty-five. Cinco centavos. Mexican five cents. Sweet. Hello. Next day, September twenty-eighth. Met a different permission. Just door knocking again. Saturday, so people should be home. I'm hoping. Got a couple no's already, and a bunch of people not home. I got my first yes here. Been here a while an older home probably turn of the century all I'm finding is modern stuff and tons of iron barely even finding any trash so I was about to leave and I just started wandering around aimlessly and I got a war nickel it's a 45p sweet now I have to stay <laughs> see if we find some more see you there Wrap up video! <laughs> that was pretty fun. I got out maybe three, four days. Uh, wasn't out very long each day. It was rough getting permissions. Lots of no's and lots of nobody home. But I did pretty good. Found some cool stuff. Let's see what we got. Let's start with the clad. We got a. 75 cents and quarters, a few nickels, lots of pennies, dimes, and a Canadian penny. And I got a couple old rimfire bullet cartridges. Uh, not too old. Civilian 
button. And I got a nice buckle. I didn't get that on film. I thought I was recording and I guess I wasn't. Apollo. Made by Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. Patent August 2902. That's cool. And I got the V nickel, 1891. And I got Cinco Centavos, 1965. And I got eight wheat pennies. They're all in the 40s and 50s, except for a 1930. And I already had all of those. And my 45P war nickel. And the star of the show, 1918. Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Oh, I love those. That thing's worn out, but it's still so amazing. <laughs> Sweet. Well, the weather's getting pretty cold here, but I'll try and get back out. I really want to. I got to find some better places to go, though had rough permissions well i'll see you later yep um check out my gofundme thing i got thirty dollars that's a start <laughs> but i need like 1600 by the, the end of october so i'll do my best to chip away at it uh please donate what you can brian mcwilliams b-r-i-a-n-m-c-w-i-l-l-i-a-m-s on gofundme Check me out. Uh, go do some treasure hunting. Find something cool and appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.